Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to your YouTube channel, and we're back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Today, we have another version of a Pulse DC magnetic motor. This one is 11 inches tall by 10 inches long and 5 inches wide. The rotor is 8.5 inches in diameter. The rotor has 12 neodymium magnets. This motor has a single oversized electromagnet. There's a single timing switch here for the electromagnet. And also, there's a single trigger coil that turns on the circuit. This motor is very sensitive and can begin to rotate at 3 volts DC. This motor is not self-starting. It needs a small push for the timing to begin to work. Right now, we will turn it on with only 3 volts DC. It will use only one-fourth of a watt of electrical energy. Right now, we have the motor running at 3 volts DC. We will gradually begin to increase the input voltage to the motor. You will be able to hear the sound of the rotor also increasing. This means that the RPM of the motor is also increasing. Once we reach 3 or 4,000 RPM, we will turn off the power supply. Here, we connected 20 LEDs directly to the power supply, and you will see that they will not work because they require higher voltage to turn on. This time, we connected 20 LEDs through a diet to the electromagnet to harness the collapsing field energy. This time, you will see that the LEDs will lighten up because the output voltage of the collapsing field energy is a lot higher than the input energy.
we connected the collapsing field energy through a rectifier to a battery and we will begin to charge the battery. If you dump this energy in the same battery that you used to run the motor with, that will prolong the runtime of the motor. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way and make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button and we'll see you next time.